Hi there, welcome to the Dreamkeeper channel. So first off, thanks for subscribing. Helps me out, helps the channel out, helps us grow. But moving on, this one is more a vision I have in general. It's not one that I've, I've seen, it's more one that I have. And it's called Echoes of Gaia, Restoring the Balance. So what it's about is how I think humanity's took like a wrong turn and we're basically just destroying the planet. Like we're just polluting it. We're using all the resources. Like it's just, we're just destroying the place. And that's how you've got people that want to, obviously like Elon Musk, they want to move to Mars and all this kind of stuff. But I think rather than like, like destroy the planet and just move on to another planet, like we should be looking after this one. It's obviously special if it's the only planet in our solar system that apparently can sustain life, then we should be looking after it and living in harmony with it. And the economy should be focused on that. Like I know things like <clears throat> they've tried all different systems in the past and obviously capitalism's like the the main like dominant uh, system we have the now. And it is good, I'm not saying like it's bad or that, it's just that there's, it's, it's gets to a certain point I think and then it tips where everything is just about making money and just like cutting corners or destroying things or using up the resources and it, to me it needs to turn so it's like people get rewarded for, for looking after the environment, for, for like... Uh, like having a business that's, 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 that works in harmony with, with the environment and stuff uh, rather than just it's all about just making money and just pouring chemicals into the ocean and there's lots of bad stuff that, that you've, I see like the, even like all the kind of, like all the medication people flushed in the, like the toilet and stuff I think they were doing tests on fish out in the coast and they all had like all uh, different types of drugs and stuff in their system and that's the fish and then we're eating the fish and then it'll mess us up because we're we're basically eating all these chemicals and so everything like even the food in general it's all chemicals and stuff like food should be grown properly and it should be healthy there should be none of this processed stuff just for cheap and profit like there should that we could do so much so like my vision would be <clears throat> well one the food like sort the food out and grow make like grow lots and lots of good healthy nutritious food and make it so that we have that much that it is cheap like it's no the amount of technology and stuff we have it should be easily done it shouldn't be difficult plus like god the kind of like a uh, blocks say eh? like we like like the west and stuff even if like we can't grow it here we could say right well you've got the better weather you grow it there and everybody eh, chips in and and works together on it kind of thing because i think the time has come that we do need to do something we can't just destroy the planet we live on so food i would sort that out the water basically drinking water in the oceans as well like we need to like depollute them. They're full of chemicals and all kind of nasty stuff and plastic and all this like stuff. Like the fish are all eating plastic or getting choked with it and it's all kind of just bad. So we need to come up with some kind of plan, sort the oceans and the the water the drinking water out. Uh, and like <coughs> uh, like housing and stuff. Like we should be building sustainable housing like even if it means like because we do it already we plant like forests as crops they grow fast they grow like fast and tall and straight so they're good for like building materials so we should be doing that and then like making housing out of like wood and stuff like I, i'm a joiner or like so like i love wood anyway so obviously i'm going to be biased but to me it was like the most sustainable thing 
I know it's like you can't build skyscrapers out of wood and stuff, but you could limit that to, to where it's necessary. Because a lot of them are, it's just about money making. Like I heard about, well, there's, it's all over, like New York and London and all the kind of big cities, like they build all these skyscrapers, but they're just all like investments, so most of them are empty. Like people don't live in them. It's just people buy them as an investment because the value will go up because they're in like New York or London. So we don't need a lot of them. Like I'm not saying don't ever build them, but just build them where they're needed. Same with like factories, build it where it's needed. And then like housing and stuff, make it sustainable. Plus it make like, like also like I was saying, I'm a joiner, a craftsman and that, so I'm biased, but I've never met anybody that stayed in a log cabin that wasn't happy staying in a log cabin. But if you look at people staying in blocks of flats and stuff, nobody likes it. So it affects your health, your mental health. So plus like log cabins and that, they fit in with the environment, they look better, it create like a better feel to like towns and stuff. Doesn't need to just be log cabins, you can do so much with wood. Uh, or, or other kind of natural materials. Uh, you get all the other kind of stuff. Uh, you get like uh, hay bales and uh, blocks, like the, I, I can't mind what they're made out of, but it's like natural stuff. And it's all like compressed and it like uh, basically blocks that you can build a house with kind of thing. So that's basically like food, water, housing, even just like the air, I know they're, they're big on electric cars and that the now, but the damage that does making the batteries to like to, to the environment is, is just as bad as anything. So we need to like design cities and towns better kind of thing where we don't need cars and stuff. And it's, I'm knowing about the 15 minute things. I don't believe in that. I think people should be allowed to travel freely like in their own country or whatever at least. Obviously if you're country to country you would need a passport but I think uh, just if we, we could design again we've got the technology, we've got the know-how, lots of clever people in the world. We could design towns and cities that were interconnected with like public transport and we have a lot already like with trains and stuff. I think Europe it's meant to be a lot better for trains than what America is and stuff. Uh, but we could, in this day and age, we could come up with a system where you don't really need to be buying like cars and stuff. If, like, because the only, like the car, I know for me it's like my freedom. So that's why I have it. But if I didn't need it, if I could just jump on some other kind of transport that was reliable and cheap, then. I wouldn't hear a car or that. It's just more about the freedom to move about. That's why everybody has a car, because it's, it's easier. So, like, if we could come up with something, you could get rid of all the kind of polluting cars, and you, I don't think you would need everybody, I don't think everybody would need an electric car or that, that the, the batteries pollute the environment and stuff, and you need to keep charging them and all this kind of thing. Because that's our thing, if you, if everybody bought an electric car and plugged it into the grid, the grid would go down because it's no bulk for everybody to plug in electric cars. So it's, even that, it's a kind of false promise kind of thing. So I reckon public transport should be focusing on that and making it really, really good. And that way people can travel freely throughout their, their country and even like if winter connect countries, make it easier. Uh, so that's like basically food, water, housing, travel uh, and just the basic environment. Also, I think plastic is like a big thing. Obviously it was the oil boom because they make plastic out of like different the bits of oil kind of thing. Like the chemi chemicals from oil makes plastic so that's why it boomed after like the oil was discovered. But again, like I'm not saying ban all plastic or that, but it should be limited to what it is really needed for, kind of thing. And not just like in everything, because it affects your health, like your, even the now, like a, like you breathe in plastic off your clothes and the carpet and like all stuff, it's like in the air and that, and then it, it affects your health 
eventually kind of thing and uh, so like get rid of all the plastic that we don't need and just it's just basically just about thinking about things better rather than just taking profit 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 make everything cheap and cheap and cheap and fill it with chemicals and do this and do that. It shouldn't be like that. Like we're we're we've got enough technology and we're smart enough, or you'd think we're smart enough not to destroy the planet that we live on, kind of thing. Because we need this. It's because even if just say Elon Musk does go to Mars, do you think we're all going to Mars? No, it'd be like rich people that would go to Mars. All the poor people would be left here and the whatever mess was left. So. I think it's, it can be difficult for for like to make a change, but I think see if, if individually you start being more conscious about it and then kind of force the governments into it, then they need to react to it and same with businesses, because b- businesses kind of put it on us and say like, well, it's us, we need to turn our heating down, we need to cut this back and cut that back, and but it's not really us, it's them that are making it all to sell to us, to make profits. So we need to kind of force business and the government to say like, we're not buying this anymore. We don't want all the rubbish. We want proper good food, clean water, nice housing, good environment to live in. And all this could create jobs as well. If you think even farming, it's quite a low paid job for if you work on a farm. But if there was lots and lots of farms and food was a big deal, producing the best food ever was a big deal, then you would be uh, it'd be a better pay. So you could do that as a job. Same way, like uh, clean kind of technologies, the the energy stuff. I think we need to come up with something because, like, I've been looking into stuff like the solar panels and all that kind of stuff, like the amount of oil that's used to make all these, the amount of oil and chemicals and the minerals and like you need to mine and all this kind of stuff to make solar panels and uh, windmills and all that. It's not really, it's like the the final product maybe be green and clean, but the or the, the process to get there isn't it? It's no, it's, it's polluting, same like the electric cars what I was on about. The stuff you need to do to get to that product is probably worse than just filling your your car up with uh, petrol or diesel, so it's, it's a bit of a false kind of narrative. But I think that we could, if we truly focused on it, we could sort something out uh, and have proper energy kind of thing, like clean. But it's, it's no, I don't have all the answers to that. It's a difficult one, obviously. People are working on a few different types. There's like, obviously, like there's nuclear already, but that's got issues obviously people when they want to live next to that then there's fusion eh, that they're working on now so we don't know how that'll go but obviously I think if we really focused if we really made that a big concern and I think the only reason we're not is because there's too much money in oil for people so that's how they're trying to transition it because of people that are producing all the oil then they want something else because then they'll lose all their business and their money so again that's where capitalism kind of blocks kind of progress but I think if we all focused on it we could come up with something I'm pretty sure we could so that would be like we'd need to sort energy and in general just a mindset you just this is why I like uh, about the Japanese like especially like the well even now but especially back in like ancient japan everything was about working with nature and stuff they believed that every like thing had a spirit like the trees had a spirit and uh, like whatever it was the river had a spirit the, the earth had a spirit the sky had a spirit and if you believe everything's got a spirit and everything's alive which it possibly is uh, then you would look after it. You wouldn't just damage it or pollute it or cut it down or destroy it just for the sake of it. Or you would you would be more connected with the environment and you would care more about it. Whereas the stage we're in is just like, oh, that's broken, I'll throw it away. I'll just buy another one. And you're not thinking all oh, the process that's gone into it before it 
and it's just it's polluting the planet, it's destroying things. It's just it's quite sad to me. Uh, also, like I, I'm a joiner, so I work with with trees and stuff. So you could say, well, your living was about cutting trees down and stuff. That's true. But if if you're growing them as a crop and replanting them, then it's sustainable. And you leave like the ancient forests. You don't cut them down, kind of thing. So to me, it would be the dream. I used to think about this quite a lot. Especially in Scotland, I used to think about because it, most of the population in Scotland stay in the, the Central Belt. I used to say, well, why don't we just make Central Belt City, just like a big line, basically, right for like Edinburgh to Glasgow and everywhere in between, and have like good transport links right across it, and then move people for the countryside that are not like farming or whatever. Eh, into the city and then like start like rewilding the countryside and make it so like you're in the city that's where all the jobs are and whatever but you've got like plenty of transport and stuff you can go out and explore all the nature around about you and it'll all be like coming back like it'll be rewild and the animals will be back and the fish will be back and like all that kind of thing so it's not like you're just abandoning it you're managing it and restoring it so then you can enjoy it. So a bit like a national park kind of thing, but on a bigger scale. Plus, like, you would leave people, it's not like you would abandon it all. People would need to live there to manage it and to farm and, and all kind of stuff, but it should all be thought about through, is this going to make the earth better? Like, can we live in harmony with the earth kind of thing? So... That would be my ideal, and then there was even the things with the city city farms, uh, so it's like skyscraper kind of, or vertical farms, didn't they need to be skyscrapers, but I think they were trialling it in New York because they've got empty skyscrapers, but you can basically grow fresh fruit and veg inside, like with like no soil, it's all like hydroponics and lights, and if you're growing that in the city where it's needed, then you're not having to transport it for it for like the countryside or wherever in trucks or trains. So stuff like that. So it could I, I reckon we between the world and or even just a country, we could sort things out if we really wanted to. But it's just it's the government and business that needs to be forced into it because business is kind of making the money and they're paying it to government to keep things the way it is so government's not changing it so even if we vote to change it you've seen it in britain the green agenda and all this and then as soon as it's going to cost somebody something then they stop it like what eh, i think like rishi sunak has pulled back on stuff and i'm not saying i agree with all the green stuff and that some of it i think is just nonsense and it's just about making money or trying to look good but I'm on about properly doing it kind of thing so to me that's it would all be about like we should be living in harmony it's almost a bit like if you go back to before the industrial revolution people were more connected to the land and stuff and you, like you, you understood where your food came from and you respected the animals because you probably had to kill the animal to eat it so you respected the animal, you gave it a good life, because like you would eat it, or if you were hunting, you would like make a, a like a, I don't know if you blessed it or something. If you killed an animal, you would do like a wee ceremony to say thank you for obviously giving itself up to feed you, because it is a natural cycle. Like at the end of the day, we want to eat and stuff. So to me, we need to get back to back to living in harmony with ourselves and the earth and I think we could really create something special here on this planet and I'm not on about going back to the stone age like we could still use technology and stuff and, and have a good life like I'm not saying we need to go back the way it's just we're still going forward but instead of going in the, the direction where we just pull out the planet and destroy it we go in the direction where it's all about making things better and making the planet like better kind of thing making it healthier like well if, if we stay in a healthy environment 
it makes us healthier so the planet wins we win everybody wins so to me that's 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 what it would all be about basically living in harmony with nature and the earth and making a better life for everybody and that's what the economy and society should all be focused on and I think everybody would bend like the benefits for it for everybody would be immense whether it be your health your kind of mindset mental health all that kind of stuff plus the environment would be getting better so it's, it works for everybody so that's that's basically the video uh, echoes off Gaia restoring the balance and to me that's what we need to do so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.